I'd like to introduce you to a concept I call the identity maze. So it was August 2019, and I had just come out of the movie theater with my wife. We had seen the movie The Overcomer. And I just asked God, do I have an issue with my identity? Well, nothing really happened, but over a period of time, that question kept coming up. And you might be familiar with Proverbs uh, 25.2, and it says, it's the glory of God to hide a thing, but it's the glory of kings to seek that thing out. And I just began to understand that identity was really important in my life. And so I began to study and learn and ask a lot of questions around identity. So as I've also gotten in and talked to people during the interviewing process, I came up with this kind of vision, and I'll call it a discovery, and I'd like to share it with you. Again, I call it the identity maze. So a maze we're very familiar with. It's something we can get into, but we always are trying to find a way out. And this maze actually has only an entrance and an exit. And so it starts looking like this. And now I broke that concept of a maze down into two ideas. First, I call it the identity rabbit hole. We might be familiar with a rabbit hole, something where we're just walking and we fall into the hole and it begins to just uh, allow us to just continue to uh, fall deeper and deeper and deeper into that hole. So if you can imagine coming into the maze, you encounter the what. Well, we spend most of our life in the what. What are we doing? What is happening? What is going on in the news? But especially when we begin to uh, encounter challenges in our life, as we get more and more challenged, we actually begin to go deeper and deeper into this rabbit hole and we hit the how. How is this happening to me? And then we might get into the why is this happening to me? But we very rarely get into the who. It's, it's an area of our life that we're very uh, unfamiliar with. A lot of times during the interviewing process, I'll ask people, who are you? And I immediately get a clarity from that person. Sometimes it, there's a lot of clarity. A lot of times there's no clarity. And again, we don't spend very much time in the who. Now, the other part of this maze I call the vortex. You might be familiar with what a tornado looks like. And so at the base of the tornado, as it's hitting the ground, it's its most kind of destructive part, but then the funnel moves up and there's a lot of power and width. And so if you can imagine actually starting your questioning with who, it begins to unravel and you begin to move into the why and then the how and then the what. I call this an identity driven life where you actually start with the who. The reason this is so important is because if you don't actually go there, if you don't go into the who in your life, if you don't really begin to get clear about your spiritual identity, what happens is you spend much of your time in the, in the, in the maze, I'll call it, and you don't get clear about the who, which leads to the why, and also to the how and the what. Next time, I'm going to show you a little bit more about how the Vortex can work in your life. Thanks for joining us.